Hey, fortunately, we got people out there saving this planet. Where would we be without the elites in our lives? You know, we're just little people. We can't understand things. No. You know, we don't know that much. And if even what we do know, we don't know what to do with. We, If we have information like the planet is being destroyed, of course, by CO2. Uh, and so all of our emissions are, are killing us mm. slowly. Um, killing us not so softly with their crud. Killing us softly with their crud. And telling our whole lives um, with their crud still, I guess. <laughs> Uh, but fortunately, again, there are the elites like John Kerry, who um, is reminding people he's over in Davos, as as with the other elites. And uh, he's talking about he's making sure that we understand how special people like him are and how, what they're doing to to uh, fix the problems that we face and save the planet. Here he is. And when you stop and think about it, it's pretty extraordinary that we select group of human beings right. select because group of whatever of touched us at some point in our lives are able to sit in a room and come together uh-huh. and, and um, actually talk about saving the planet. I mean, it's so <laughs> almost extraterrestrial it is. to think about almost quote, false saving the planet. And if you said mm-hmm. that to most people, most people, I mean, they think you're just a crazy <laughs> tree-hugging, lefty, liberal, you know, do-gooder or whatever. Yes, yes. Right. Yep, that's and, right. And, and think, there's yep. no relationship. But really, that's where but we are. Really, he's saving the planet. Mm. But really, uh, what we are are gods, really. That's what we are. Yeah. <laughs> we are we are your overlords and your gods, and we're saving this planet uh, in spite of you. Every once in a while, they just blurt out something yeah. that's so true. Isn't that amazing? Right? Like that's exactly how they think. That is like that is the quiet part out loud for everyone to hear. Yes, we're special. Mm-hmm. We're select. Uh, we're a group of people who are saving the planet from the other dummies who just got us into this mess by driving their big cars. <laughs> I just. And of course, we still get to drive our big cars as elites. We oh, still, John oh, Kerry yeah. still gets, to, he still and, gets to get a private jet over to Davos, yeah. right? Yes. You know, and, and, and I, he won't apologize for that. He's told us in the past, yes. I will not apologize for my private jet travel uh, because I'm worth it. I'm right. saving the planet that you little people aren't. That's really what they think. Yeah, it is. It's, it's great. It I, I really like these types of moments where they will just say I do say too. It. You know, it's really helpful. <laughs> it, is. it is legitimately a positive. Let everybody really see who you are yeah. and what you think of yourself and what you think of us. Yeah. There was a clip that we played the other day of Joy Behar, uh-huh. who, you know, she's fantastic. And she was on The View, and she was talking about the Biden document scandal. And she said... People are like wondering, well, what's the difference between this Trump thing and this Biden thing? Well, we know Trump is a criminal. Yeah, right. That's right. And we know that <laughs> Biden is a good guy. Therefore, we we assume that he did this as a mistake. Incredible. And it was like she was making this as if it was an incredible argument. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, this is exactly what we're accusing you of. <laughs> right? We're accusing you of not looking at both sides because you've predetermined that one side is good and one side is bad. Yeah. And, and that's exactly what you're admitting to. She has shown over the years she's not capable of looking at both sides. No, she's an idiot. I mean, like, like Joey Behar is a complete idiot. John Kerry is just an elitist who thinks he's better than everybody else. And look at how he just, he couldn't keep it inside any longer. Yeah. It's incredible because he's been thinking about this. Oh, how wonderful all. he is. Yeah. And the people with him and how elite they are and what good they're doing for the planet. And it just burst out of him yeah. because he couldn't hold it in anymore. And in some ways, isn't it understandable, <laughs> right? John Kerry, think of his life. Yeah. He's over in Nantucket, you know, doing, you know, wakeboarding. Mm-hmm. And he comes off of the of that island and then flies in a private jet to Davos to rub shoulders with... Then this is after he spent his entire life accomplishing nothing. Yeah. He's a giant zilch from birth to today. Mm-hmm. And... He is rewarded for that behavior by being treated incredibly well and being able to avoid every single one of the things he recommends for the rest of society. He is able to mm-hmm. avoid uh, living a carbon neutral. I guarantee his house on Nantucket oh, is on. it's not it's no, not, it's not uh, carbon neutral. It's not eighteen hundred square feet. <laughs> I can promise you that. Uh, right. 
This is a <laughs> this it, it is super nice, and he's got super nice cars and super nice toys, and he flies all over the world on a private jet and tells everyone else they're evil for even thinking about driving a car. And they won't apologize for it either. No. Still because uh, you little people sicken me. And I don't have to explain anything I do to you. <laughs> right. That's who that's, he is. That's the attitude. And when you when you live your life <laughs> that way, and you live your life with that double standard for this long, and you're never punished for it, in fact, you're rewarded for it, of course you think you're better than everyone else. Mm-hmm. You don't have to live by their rules. And instead of the... I mean, you know, they talk about... In extreme cases, we've seen environmentalists over and over again say things like people should be put in prison for their their climate beliefs. People should be executed for their climate beliefs. This has been talked about for decades among the, you know, far environmentalist left. And even the people who are not, you wouldn't consider on the extremes, are saying things like, well, basically, we need to hold back fossil fuels, cheap, reliable energy for people in the third world so they can, you know, oh, sorry, me, the, glo- the global south. Uh, and so that, <laughs> Thank you. So that they wow, can, I was offended there for a minute. Thank you. I'm glad I caught myself. Where they can struggle, let them struggle. They don't deserve the, the, the dependable energy we built our civilization on. Screw them. Give them the experimental solar stuff that doesn't work. <laughs> Right? Yes. Let that, and then if we go, yeah, yes. sure, it's more expensive. So what? <laughs> Who cares? We're the global north. We get to do whatever we want. And that's what they that's how they see themselves. And so it you is. can see how something like this would develop. It really is. It's it's outrageous, frankly. Uh and you're right. It's it's not just fun, but it's important to see them in these kinds of moments where they just share it with the world. Because the world in general, I don't think believes the things that we say about about these elites every day. And then and then here's proof positive. This is what we're saying. This is who they think they are. They're better than us and they don't have to follow the same rules as we do. So they continue to meet in these private little meetings in Davos and wherever else with the Bilderbergers and the Whataburgers and the bacon cheeseburgers. Mm -hmm. And they just keep plotting out our future for us, they think, and uh, trying to figure out how they can separate themselves even further from the rest of us. Then we had uh, Greta Greta Thunberg yesterday in Germany being arrested. Uh, Do we have that clip? Because it's it's really frightening what happened to her yesterday. She was... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Look at this. So they're setting up the fact that they're about to arrest her. <clears throat> this isn't... <laughs> this, this isn't set up at all. Uh, they're all standing <laughs> standing oh there gosh. trying to figure out how they're going to do this. All right. They're holding her hands. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And they're waiting until they're all videotaped and photographed, and then they're going to... They're going to carry her away. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, what an arrest. <laughs> Later on, Incredible. they pick her up and they carry her. Um, and she's like smiling. And she's smiling. And she's having a good time. It was like a little, she's like a little kid. And she's like taking, going for a ride with mommy and daddy. What is the point of that? I wonder. She's so uh, committed to her activism that she's willing to be arrested. Well, okay, not really arrested, but she's willing to set it up as if she was being arrested. Play arrested. Amazing. Well, it's true, too. I mean, the issue here, of course, is not even Greta, right? Greta, you expect this sort of behavior from Greta. What, what are the police doing <clears throat> in this situation? I, They're posing thank for you. pictures. This Embarrassing. Is, you know, it's one thing to look. It's not a surprise that Greta, Greta Thunberg would arrange a situation where Five activists are arrested by 30 police officers and 50 media standing by taking pictures. That is not a surprise. Why the police would partake in such a situation is kind of a surprise. Like they, mm-hmm. That's a problem. You got a problem going on there with your police force, if that's, if that's even real. I mean, do we find out later that that was essentially that Those aren't actually yeah. police officers even? Would, would not be at all surprised. I wouldn't be surprised either. Again, the, these, these <clears throat> arguments are built on lies. And to expand them, you just need to expand the lies. This is what they do all the time, constantly. And people like Greta, uh, I don't know if she's crossed the line yet from useful idiot to, 
you know, someone who's partaking in, you know, the, the theater of all of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, certain, mm-hmm. you know, I, I think when she was, you know, a, a small child, she was, uh, I think, a victim in some ways of, 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 of the propaganda and the people around yeah. them. Because uh, you, you could tell she was legitimately yeah. petrified. Terrified. Of what is happening in the world to uh, bring about climate change. Mm-hmm. She really thought, as some of them do, that we had 10 years left. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, if you really believed that the planet is being destroyed at such a rate that you only have 10 years left, yeah, you'd, you'd fight against it. And she really believed she was going to die. Yeah. And that no one cared about her. Right. And it's like, you know, right. you know, like look, as a child, of course, this is a ch- what you would it's call child a childish abuse. belief. Right. She has a childish belief Mm -hmm. and her parents and others around them propagating this onto her is abuse. They they are abusing her childlike belief system to terrify her for their own ends. I mean, that is uh, it's like we 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 criticize like a parent on TikTok who like pranks their kid and terrifies them. You know, this this happens every once in a Mm -hmm. while. And everyone's like, Mm -hmm. God, what kind of parent would do that? (laughs) Every left wing parent would do it. Every one of and them. They are doing. They it. are doing it. They're doing it on TikTok as well. But yeah. they're they, making your child believe they're going to die because of a zero point nine degree centigrade uh, temperature rise over one hundred years is the type of thing that qualifies as really crappy parenting. You know, and you know, yeah. Michael Schellenberger. I know you've you've talked to him before. We had him on mm-hmm. yesterday about a totally different topic. He was actually talking oh. about Davos. Uh, he's been uh, writing a lot about that recently, but he wrote his book, Apocalypse Never, which is a book about, and he's a big environmentalist, and uh, he was known as like an award-winning environmentalist on the cover For of Time 30 Magazine, years. CNN documentaries about mm-hmm. him, blah, blah, blah. And he- Now he's a traitor. Now he's now he's evil and a traitor. Mm-hmm. But the one of the reasons why he decided to write this book, because he had had, a, if, if I remember the the chronology correctly- he had had this awakening where he had looked at this information and said, wait a minute, a lot of this stuff isn't true. He looked into it, looked at the first sources, interviewed people who, who were being quoted as saying, hey, there's only 10 years left, and uh, you know, found out that they weren't even saying that. I mean, they, they would tell him, no, that's not what I mean at all. Um, so he went through all this and had this awakening and, and had talked about it at some level, but didn't write the book until he saw the friends of his daughter who were terrified about global warming and the climate catastrophe that was around the corner. He's mm-hmm. like, you know, my daughter, we talk about this all the time. She's not feeling that way. But her friends were. And like, we got to get the information out to people who are trying, right? Some, you know, look, I, Greta's parents are not, I don't think, trying. Uh, but uh, a lot of people get fooled by this stuff and believe that, you know, their kids are going to die. They have to do something. And if they don't have the real information, they wind up ruining their children's mm-hmm. lives over this. Yeah, because they, all they do is stress about this. Yeah, and you could say to a, a, a you know, a, 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 you know, idiot like AOC or Joy Behar, you say, "Gotta learn the information and 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 and, mm-hmm. and come into modern society a little bit here. Understand what's going on. Mm-hmm. Read something." <laughs> but to a child, you can't do that. I mean, a child obviously can read these things at some age; they can start to understand it. But generally speaking, they're going they're 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 judging their lives based on what their parents are telling them and we see this with gender we see this with crt and we see it with climate the parents bring in these ridiculous belief systems and then the children are the victims of this they are the Mm -hmm. victims their lives their childhoods get ruined by these belief systems it's really sad. It really is. And pathetic. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.